DFG Science TV. The Wave Hunters. Do Einstein's gravitational waves rock the universe? At the Albert Einstein Institute in Hanover, Henning and Alexander are busy working on their experiment in the lab. They want to extend the range of the Geo 600 gravitational wave detector to handle a special form of light. But then they run into unexpected difficulties. Time for a discussion with their boss. Our SHG has broken down. That's bad news. We absolutely need the SHG. There, that's where it's broken, right where the crystal is. How soon can it be fixed? Four weeks? Four weeks? That's far too long. We need it in a week's time. One week? We'll get it fixed by tonight, boss. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's get back to work. The clock's ticking. Back in the lab, the two researchers analyze and repair the faulty part that is meant to produce green laser light. With its help, they can generate squeezed light. Henning and Alexander can actually influence the particles of light in this special squeezed light, and thus play tricks with the natural properties of light. And that's essential to make the gravitational wave detector even more sensitive and be better able to identify the tiny signals from gravity waves. These signals correspond to minute fluctuations in the brightness at the detector's exit window. However, simply measuring these fluctuations isn't enough to know if they were caused by a gravitational wave or whether the nature of quantum physics itself causes these fluctuations. Light and matter are constructed from the smallest possible units, referred to as quanta. And the behavior of these quanta is subject to a certain degree of chance, or fuzziness. And that is the real problem, the natural quantum noise. There isn't really any way of getting around it, but we have found a way of playing a trick on the quantum nature of light, using squeezed light. Let's take a look at these two dice. They're perfect cubes, so the result of rolling the dice is pure chance. If, however, you roll doubles every time, this means that either the dice are loaded, or else they're in a so-called squeezed quantum state. This state really only exists in quantum physics. Two numbers are genuinely random, but nevertheless always the same. That isn't possible with numbers rolled from dice in real life, but, amazing though it seems, it works with quanta of light. But only for squeezed light, where the numbers rolled are always exactly the same. And if we do get a different number, then we know for sure that it was due to a gravitational wave and not due to quantum mechanical chance. With squeezed light, you always roll doubles. Simple as that. <laughs> In the lab, Alexander and Henning are putting theory into practice. To be able to generate this special squeezed light, they manipulate the laser beam. For our experimental setup, we need a green beam, which is generated right there where Henning is busy working at the moment. Yes, and now it's working again. Here in Hanover, we're basically the world leaders in generating squeezed light. And because a lot of scientists around the world are interested in Henning and Alexander's work, they're going to a conference in the USA to meet other researchers and discuss their work. See what happens to them on their journey in the next episode. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.